All right, Shalom. Shalom. First of all, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakak Wadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect that sees word and our true faith is Sarah. So, yeah, today we just, uh, you want to tie the letter not? Uh, uh, all right. All hell break loose. You know the Lord done it. Yeah, kind. Yeah, and, and Lord, well, this is a, a confident edifying thing as well, you know. Because when all hell breaks loose, you should already know who's doing it, man. Okay. You know, you know uh the master you should know the master plan of your house by a shimmy out shy, man. Okay. Cause these devils about to fall into a trap, man, into a snare, man. You know? So you uh uh even though yeah, we're gonna it's gonna be a certain type of fear, but we're gonna trust in your house by shimmy outside that he's gonna uh uh um you know guide us, you know. Yeah, I mean, you got ultimately uh, deliver us from this wicked place. That's it. You know? That's it. So, yeah, you got to get that out. Um, this Amos 3 and verse 6, it says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, mm -hmm. and the people be not afraid? And, and that's, hey, we're in that process now, mm -hmm. right now. You know, starting with the positive elders on down, you know, prophesying, man. Come. And let you know what, what, what the things about to come. Matter of fact, you get a quick precept, get on 1 Corinthians 14 and start it like so. Cause we blowing that trumpet now, and there ain't no trumpet for the feast, man. You know, mm -hmm. we we telling you that the sword is coming, man. Yeah, come. You know, you got off. Yeah, this First Corinthians fourteen verse seven. It says, even things without life giving sound, mm -hmm. whether piped or a harp, except they give a distinction in the sound. See, it give mm. a distinction in sound. Yeah, we Israelites. But it's something about them great meals. It's on God's. It's the spirit. It's the yeah. and it sounds, man. Come You know. If I may, because we speaking the, the, the sounds of prophecy, man. Yep, we in the, We in the spirit of Yahweh Shah because we in the spirit of the prophecy, man. Revelation 19 and 10. Yep, that's it. So he ever give a distinction in sound. Mm -hmm. got it. it says, how shall it be known with his pipe or heart? So how we know what time that we're in? Mm -hmm. you blowing, you just blowing a trumpet. You should know, you know. What times you were in, and these other counts is blowing, uh, trying to feast them. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the spirit tell you better go to the house of morning than the house of feasting, man. That's right. You know, these 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 other counts want to uh, pretty much uh, live it up here in America as well, man. That's right. And be Israelites, you know, be Israelites, uh, be an American Israelite, man. You know. But it, it, like I said, it's somebody them great. It's yeah, somebody them great meals, though. Because we yeah. tell you, hey, man. I don't have a bit of break loose. You're gonna get comfortable here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's a lot of restrictions within uh GMS. But yeah, great millstone, man. Mm -hmm. And Jake don't like that, you know. Mm -hmm. You guess on? Yeah, I can go back to the Amos. Uh, it's, it's oh, uh, oh, verse oh, oh, eight. Oh, 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 like yeah, verse eight. It's like okay. This um going back to uh First Corinthians fourteen. And I'm gonna read verse seven again. Mm -hmm. This is in things without life giving sound, whether a harp, whether piped or a harp. Except they give a distinction in the sound, how shall it be known with his pipe or heart? Right. For if the trumpet give a uncertain sound, mm. who shall prepare himself to battle? So what well, guess what that means? The prophets mm -hmm. always tell you the sword is coming, man. Mm -hmm. That's why they turn what sound you came. Come. You know? So how did how did you read that again? Uh, oh, slack it. Oh, I had a quick precept. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got oh. it. Okay, this uh Ezekiel 33, and I'm gonna start at verse um one. Now I'm going to start at verse on 2. It says, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and say him for their watchman. If he, if when he cut, when he see it, it's like it says, if when he see it, the sword come upon the land, he blow up the trumpet and warn the people. And, and that's what we're doing today, man. We we're being watching, we're telling you guys that all hell is finna break loose, man. Yep. You know, um, brother be doing different articles about when they were dabble seven, yep. all these diseases that's going around here, all about the famine, you know, how how how, how basically uh, America is going down, man. Yep. You know, but guess what, man? We were telling y'all that this is finna happen, but y'all don't want to listen to it, man. Yep. These other Israelite camps, they're not even blowing the trumpet, man. They're telling everybody that it's finna be a party, man. Yep. That's why on uh, uh, First Corinthians, um, um, we say five, I think fifth chapter. It says, um, when you say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon yeah, you. Thessalonians. Yeah, first, it's like it. First Thessalonians, it's like it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, right there on the side. Yeah, kind. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Get, get that on uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 8 one more time. It's like it. Yeah, kind. It's the book of uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and verse uh, 8 again. It says, for if the trumpet gave an unseen sound, 
who shall prepare himself to the battle. See, uh, I certain sound. So what that means? Mm -hmm. That if you if you ain't knowing, you ain't uh, singing the right song, man. You're gonna get. You're gonna have a lot of blood on your hands, man. That's right. You know, because you you ain't making. You ain't preparing the people for the battle, man. You know, for this this spiritual war. It's already been a spiritual war, but the but these Edomites been turn into a physical once again, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and you and Jake don't see it, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and we telling you, hey. Swore coming. Guess what? He, hey, he already slated for the scripture. You just had to tell him that, hey, you slated for the scripture. <laughs> Jeremiah 15, you, you, you got it. Yeah, go back to that. Uh, Amos. Amos yeah. uh, it's the book of Amos 3 and verse uh, 6 again. It says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be, and the people not be afraid? Uh -huh. Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord, Yahweh, Shemiah, shall have not done it? Yeah, because he the one that gave us the message to yeah. the other brothers, y'all you know I mean? Yeah, you see that message, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And now we know who's doing it, man. We know what's, what's going on. We know that the Lord controls everything, man. You know, everything is already predestined, you know? Uh, um, yeah, you got it. Continuing on in verse 7, it says, Surely the Lord's power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto the servants, to his servants, the prophets. See, so guess what he's telling the servants? Everything that he's about to do concerning judgment, man, mm -hmm. you know, especially here in America, this, this place in America is going to suffer the most, hey, man, it says it's going to overturn Egypt, man, mm -hmm. you know, but, 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 but just to build up to it, the icing on the cake is the missiles, all hell is going to break loose, man, mm -hmm. and this is the master plan of your house by the city of the because America is, is prominent, man, yeah. you know, you got some? Uh -huh. Are you going to get some? Uh, uh, yeah, get on. Uh, get on uh, Deuteronomy 32, 39. It's the book of uh, Deuteronomy 32. Say what? 39. 39. It's uh, Jeremiah 30, 32 and verse 39. Yeah, uh, it says, see now. Huh? Deuteronomy. Oh, it's like this Deuteronomy 32 and verse 39. It says, see now that I even. I am he, and there is no power with me. Uh -huh. I I will kill, and I make alive. I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So, hey, the Lord is taking full responsibility from everybody that ever died on the, on the planet Earth, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and before, you know what I mean, this time, throughout, throughout history, man, it was all the Lord that did that, man. That's right. You know? So you gotta understand, he said he's born and he healed, man. You know, he can't, and he made, he, and he, and we were brought back from the dead. It's really yeah. like y'all busting y'all shot, man. Yeah. You know? So when all hell breaks loose, you should already know, man, hey, that's the point. <laughs> you know, hey, we are gonna get tested in that day. You know, we don't part that number, you know? But hey, it's gonna be bad death here in America. It's all blood came before the sun's good. You know, and he's using his boy, which is Esau. You know? Going to eat the Genesis. Yeah, God. The builder said, uh, Genesis 25, and verse 25, and it's like this Genesis 27, it's like this book of Genesis 27, verse 40. It says, and, it says, and by thy sword thou shalt live, mm -hmm. and thou shalt serve thy brother, yeah. and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion. That thou shalt take his yoke off thy neck. So it says, by the sword shall he, uh, he shall live, man. Mm -hmm. And that's the master plan of the Lord. Because hey, the scripture said that he, uh, uh, he saw the child, man. Okay. And there's so many cases about a child getting a gun and shooting itself, man. And that's what's going to happen to Esau with these missiles, man. Okay. You know? That's what's going to happen to these devils with these missiles, man. But that, and, and, and that's how the community. This Psalms 10 to verse 2, it says, The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Mm -hmm. Let them be taken in the vices that they have imagined. See? 
Because they're going to, they're going to, it's going to be a point in time, they're going to persecute us, man. They're going to come after us for real, for real. You know, we just, you know, we wait on that because we know that that's going to be the end, man. That's right. You know, but you're going to be taking your own devices out, snaring the trap onto you. They, you know, you, you dealt with, you know what I mean? You created this, the, uh, the First Amendment, you know, the right to speech, you know, uh, the right to uh, assembly, you know what I mean? And, and they and they got snared and caught up in their own laws, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and now we out here speaking and everything. And now they they like, damn, they tell too much truth. <laughs> now you try to roll and you finna you, you finna go down for that, man. Yeah, good, good. You know, you got off. Yeah, I got a quick precept. This Psalm 17 to 13. It says, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. So man, you got off. Oh, kind. So yeah, the Lord, he's gonna disappoint you, Edomites, man. You know, because guess what? You, you wicked, you wicked, man. And it was already real enough for you to go down, man. Right. The Lord already set up the movie perfect, perfectly, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. And, and yeah, and Bruce Chris said, disappoint him. You definitely gonna be disappointed, man. You're gonna be disappointed. You're gonna, because hey, the Lord's gonna give you. This, as a matter of fact, get your old 20 real quick. When uh, he's about to feel better. better yeah. Uh. You're gonna be disappointed, man. <laughs> that last little bite on the, on the plate, man. And that was gonna be it. You know, but the Lord is gonna disappoint you in that day, man. You're gonna come it all up back up, man. You got it. It says Job 2015, he has swallowed down riches, and he and he shall vomit them up again. Mm -hmm. The most I shall cast them out of his belly. Yeah, yeah no, I go oh. to one when he is about to feel, I think it's like 21, 22. Oh, 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 come on, come on. 21, it's like it, it's like it. Oh yeah, come on. This on Job 2020, it says surely. He shall not feel quietness in his belly. Hey, it does, hey the Christian said we are grievous unto him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you see these videos, they don't see these videos, man. They know what's up, man. That's right. They know that that's, that's, a, that's a step, that's another step closer to the end of the kingdom, man. Because so Jeremiah 28 says the, the, the uh, uh, party of four million for the old, okay. the tribe of the both in many countries, great kingdoms, or even the pessimists, man. That's right. Who else ever did this, man? The central process, man. What happened after that, man? You don't see the Moab, you know what I mean? Or nothing like that. When you see the prophets out, man, that means, hey, it, it's, it's honor, man. You know? And Jake, Jake knowing their spirit, you know what I mean? And these either way you know, because they experienced it, man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> they experienced it before, you know? You got it. It says, he shall not save of that which he desired. It says, there shall, there shall none of his meat be left, therefore shall no man look for his goods. All right. It's like, it says, um, in, in the fullness of his sufficiency, yeah. Yeah. he shall be in straits. Mm -hmm. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. So yeah, you, you, you eat them while in the uh, position of difficulty, man. Mm -hmm. and, and the hand of the wicked, that's talking about Jake, man. That's right. You know? Cause the Lord is, hey man, he's gonna, uh, he's gonna just gonna wake Jake up to get crazy, man. They call it a nigga moment. He gonna see the real niggas, man. Yeah, when they throw a chum. Yeah, you know what I mean? The Lord gonna, you know, for Jake, hey, they, it lock, hey, the Lord gonna use them for them great boys, you know, say he's gonna, uh, uh, uh Judah Roswell. Yeah, you know. But a lot of, but a lot of them gonna be killed out too as well by the, uh, you know. The, um, the two thirds. The militant Edomites, yeah, they be two thirds, you yeah. know. That's how, that's again how perfect the Lord is. That's the, that's the uh, Jeremiah 15. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, but you got it. Uh, yeah, it says, uh, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Mm -hmm. When he is about to fill his belly. Yeah. <laughs> when that chip is mandated. Yeah. When the chip is mandated. So you got to understand, this is the master plan of your house by Shemiah man. Mm -hmm. You just already know when all hell breaks loose, this is the Lord's plan, man. This, this is going to be a miraculous uh, deliverance, man. That's right. How Egypt, this is this, this, this finna over Trump, Egypt, man. Mm hmm. He said, glorify my name. Man, said, and I'm going to glorify it again. again. That's how, that's how bad the Lord is. You're going to know, and you ain't going to never forget your how about see me outside, man. That's right. But we're going to beat it in you, man. You know, you got an option. Yeah, can. He says, when he is about to fill his belly, the Mosai shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. By the way of the missiles mm -hmm. and the fire from the chariots. Mm -hmm. You know, you got it. And it says, and shall rain it upon him See? while he is eating. Rain? <laughs> what kind of rain? That strange rain. The yeah. missiles, man. Come on, come on. 
Matter of fact, give uh, oh, oh. uh, Revelations 4 and 11. You guys have nah. something? No, 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 no. We're going to take it off on this. Right? Revelations 4 and 11. Yeah. It's the book of Revelations 4 and verse 11. It says, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. Mm -hmm. For thou hast created all things for thy pleasures. <laughs> See? They are, they are, and they were created. See, he had created all things. They ain't even talking about scenarios, man. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, when you come up with a movie, yeah, I mean, that was a scenario. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, 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 the Matrix. Yeah, I mean, I want to see somebody uh, fight in a car. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> hey, that was a scenario. That's how it looked. Yeah, I mean, so the Lord, this, 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 this thing you call life. This is the Lord's pleasure, man. That's right. You know, because he's finna once again glorify his name, man. Mm -hmm. By the way, discretion of America. Before that, all hell's gonna break loose. You people gonna suffer. You're gonna eat each other. Mm -hmm. You know, you're gonna have to suffer the famine. You know, all that, man. You're gonna see what this place, what it really is, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's gonna be too late for, you, for a lot of you people, man. You know, you got something? Yeah. I'm gonna get this. Oh, you got it. You this, got it. Uh, going back to Esau, this Proverbs 16 and 4. It says, The Lord hath made all things for himself. Mm, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. <laughs> yes, the Lord, he made that thing. Yeah, the, per the perfect movie director, that man. The perfect, wrote, wrote the perfect story, man. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Cause, hey, this, this is what pleases the Lord, man. He yeah. said, Pray to uh, Foolish uh, Vengeance, uh, I mean, what do you say, uh, spirit's praise for vengeance. Mm -hmm. But it appeases his wrath, man. Right. So you should know if you, if you please the Lord, you know what pleases the Lord, you know his will, man. Hey, keep on doing it. So, you, yeah, I mean, so, his, so you can please him that way instead of using the spirit of vengeance to yeah. please him, man. Yeah. You know, you got to do what? Exit on that. Hey, oh. you, whatever, yeah. you want to get something else in. Are you want to get something else? 